Oh, this is the Nick123. This is a video following up from the previous one of the Fermo Flash with Odin issue for the Galaxy Tab S. I searched on the internet and I came across a forum called XDA Developers. I uh, found a thread that uh, shows how to get the tablet into recovery mode and uh, get it to boot into the Android firmware. Uh, I'll show you how to do that now. It's the power button here and the volume up and the home button. You have to push all these three at the same time and it will come into the recovery screen. I'll pause the video now because it requires both hands to get it into that mode. Okay, so back. So this is the recovery mode screen. So it says up here Android recovery and then it's got a, uh, a list of options that you can choose from. Now you use the volume down, up, down keys to scroll up and down the menu. So what I did was, I'm not going to do it again because I've updated it to Android Marshmallow 6.0.1. So what I did was, from memory, was wipe data factory reset. I did that. And then I rebooted the system. So here. Down here there was like, error down here, there was area messages in red. But after I did the uh, wipe data factory reset, I rebooted the system and then it booted into the firmware that I had installed from Odin. I can't remember which one that was. I think that was uh, 4.22 or 4 or 5.0. I can't remember. But that's what I did and it seemed to work. But what I'll do now is I'll reboot the system. So if you want to reboot it, you push the power key here and it should boot into the system so I wasn't quite sure if it was going to work but uh, thanks to the uh, thread that I was uh, investigating on it helped out and I remember doing this about two or three years ago, because I wanted to put Android uh, 7.0 on here. I did it a little bit of a different way, but I remember uh, getting into the recovery mode, but I couldn't remember which keys to push and for how long. But there we go. So it's booted into to the Samsung. And so to be sure that we're on uh, the right system I you go general and then we go down to about device and if we scroll down here we go so Android 6.0.1 so finally this tablet hasn't has been taken out of soft bricked and it's working again so I hope this video helps any um, uh, users out there that have been in the same issue that I was in the previous video um, that's how I did it I'm not sure if it will work for everyone but I hope it does and this video has been helpful so this is Nick123 subscribe thumbs up blah 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 have a good one Bye.